Hello, our potential students. Uh, my name is Xiao Bo Qu. I'm a professor with the School of Vehicle and Mobility, Tsinghua University. It is a great pleasure for me to present with you what we think a great opportunity to join a riding sector, an increasingly important discipline, intelligent new energy vehicles and smart mobility at a top tier yet fast growing Tsinghua University. Welcome to School of Vehicle and Mobility, Tsinghua University, where your dreams start to fly. Today, I will talk about why you should study at our school, who you are working with, what topics you will research, where you will study when you graduate, how your future looks like, and how you will apply. First, why should you study? at our school. I will talk about the importance of discipline, and I will talk about advantages of our university and our school. Take a look at the two major economies on Earth. In the United States, half of their GDP are generated from 1.8% of their land. In all countries, Half GDP are generated from 0.24% of all land. This concentration of people and economic activities will lead to traffic congestion, pollution, safety, noise of your transportation systems. Think about your own country. Without the next generation vehicles and mobility, your cities will not be able to afford further urbanization. If you are interested in next-generation vehicles, vehicle-informed smart mobility, flying cars, or school will be your best option, or at least one of the best choices. So you need to work in a country with very strong vehicle manufacturing sector, and Tsinghua ranks number one in vehicle engineering in China. This is indeed a rising sector when you Select a major, you need to consider how the sector looks like in a few years when you graduate. We are in an era of revolution. The number of new energy vehicles increased dramatically in the past several years. And the number of new energy vehicles in China account for the half in the world. At the system level, the car sharing market is also going up very rapidly, creating numerous employment and research opportunities. Now you know the discipline and the industry are important. The second topic that I will mention is that who you are working with at our school. We do have a first class internationally renowned faculty with strong impact and visibility in not only academia but also industry. We have five Chinese academicians, one member of Academia Europea, the Academy of Europe, and one former president of Chinese Society of Automotive Engineering. These are all five academicians, members of Chinese Academy of Sciences, Chinese Academy of Engineering, in different areas of vehicle, energy, and transport. More importantly, our faculty members have great influence in well-regarded communities, and a few of our faculty members were chief executives of leading corporations before joining Tsinghua. Over 25% of the fellows of Chinese Society of Automotive Engineers are from our school. Our faculty members received national award of science and technology, as well as well-regarded international award conferred by premier international organizations such as IEEE. Our school hosts four top-tier journals with premier reputation, which are generally considered as best journals in the area of energy, transport, and vehicle. Now let's come to the most exciting part, what topics you will research in our school. In our school, the research topics are always focused on new trends in the industry, which are low carbon, electric, intelligent, connected, 
and also the very recent development of verticalization. With this vision, we form three research areas and three research institutes. Number one, we call power and smart energy. Number two, we call engineering and intelligent safety. Number three, intelligent vehicles and smart mobility. In our school, we have established a series of international cooperation platforms with well-known automobile companies in the world, such as research centers with Shell, Daimler, Toyota, Nissan, etc. In the area of vehicle power engineering, we focus on clean combustion technology and near-zero emission control, which have been applied by a series of passenger and freight vehicles. The team proposed an energy management system to improve the efficiency of our hybrid electric vehicles by utilizing the road environment and speed prediction technologies, which was conferred the second class prize of the State Scientific and Technological Progress Award in 2009. We research on all aspects of new energy vehicles, hybrid, electric, hydrogen vehicles in particular, we contributed substantially to the shuttle services in Beijing Winter Olympics 2022. For the area of automotive engineering, we focus on vehicle system dynamics, steering control, optimal speed control, for a smoother driving experiences, and minimal energy consumption, which demonstrate 5 to 12% energy savings. This technology was deployed at over 100,000 vehicles and was conferred the State Scientific and Technological Progress Award in 2019. In the area of intelligent safety, we propose a safety field concept to analyze the accident mechanism and quantify the risk associated in a driving journey. We also design flying vehicles, which hold the potential of fundamentally resolving the traffic congestion in cities. Now I will talk about your study environment, uh, where you will study. We have a very beautiful campus with three kilometers by four kilometers in size. You will enjoy your life on campus from spring to summer to fall and to winter. You will have access to top tier research labs as well as design labs. This is a video of our internationally renowned cross test facilities. You will also have access to the battery safety test bench, the fuel cell test bench, the autonomous driving platform, the driving simulators, and certainly your own workstations. You will have a few courses that will be taught in Chinese. If you are not confident in your Chinese, we also have courses in English. And we also have some global open courses taught by our faculty members. Our school offers different options for students to promote their personal and academic growth, which covers different themes, the research, development, cutting-edge technologies, innovation, cultural activities, sports, public benefit activities, etc. Now come to your most concerned question. When you graduate, how your future will look like? The vehicle engineering and transport, as I mentioned just now, are applied discipline and not basic science. So in our school, our educational philosophy is to promote innovation, practice, and internationalization. We wish our students to learn knowledge, develop ability, and more importantly, establish value. To contribute to the mankind, to contribute to the science. We also wish our students to link theory with practice. In our school, we have a few double degree programs with RIT Aachen University since 2001, with Insta Paris Tech from 2015, and we also have a double degree program 
with the University of Wisconsin Medicine from 2018. Our PhD program are designed for training engineering talent who may change the discipline, the world, and the country. And many students won academic awards in international conferences and competitions. In our school, we emphasize special importance to cultivating talent through scientific innovation projects and encourage students to participate in national competitions. In our school, in the past 10 years, our students won National Challenge Cup one time, Tsinghua Challenge Cup six times, as well as 11 best prizes. We wish our students to take challenges of main battlefield, major strategic need of the country and the discipline, and to work on the forefront of the world's automotive industry. Some of our PhD students became professors across the globe in top-tier universities such as National University of Singapore, the RIT Aachen University, and some work on the research and development department of major OEMs. A sizable amount of our students established their own business. One example is Sino High Tech, is regarded as one of the top 10 hydrogen energy companies in China in 2022. At the moment in our school, we have 48 PhD advisors, 63 master student advisors, and we have over 480 Chinese postgraduate students and 49 international students. So the last question, how will you apply? We have master degree program, we have PhD degree program. For master degree program, we have one in English, vehicle and mobility, and two in Chinese, mechanical engineering, power engineering, and engineering thermophysics. Our PhD degree program will be taught by either English or Chinese. We have two options, mechanical engineering and power engineering and engineering thermophysics. In our school, we accept bachelor degree holders to apply our PhD program directly if you are first class honor, graduating from a good university with a very high GPA. For timeline, we have two rounds of applications. For the first round, the deadline is 5 p.m. December 15th. The second round is 5 p.m. February 29th, the following year. For all the applicants, you should fill in the application information online upload your application document and pay the application fee at the time of submission. To apply, you need to fulfill the three prerequisites. Number one, for international student, non-Chinese citizen. Number two, for master degree program, you should have bachelor degree. For PhD program, you should have a master degree or you are first class honor for your undergraduate study. Number three, for all applicants, you should be in good health, good character, be well-behaved, and be willing to follow Chinese laws and regulations. For application document, you should submit a personal statement, a research plan, a degree certificate, academic transcript, and also language competence test score report. And that's it, your SHK or TOEFL. You also need to submit two academic recommendation letters and also your bio page or passport. After receiving your application document, we will establish an expert group. The first step is to review your application document and shortlist the candidate for the comprehensive assessment. In the second step, the comprehensive assessment, we have interview, we also have fundamental knowledge test. In the last step, in the university admission office, we will process and send in the offer. The application fee is 800 Chinese yuan, and the tuition fee for graduate program for PhD is 40,000 Chinese yuan per year. For master degree programs in Chinese is 33,000 Chinese yuan per year. For master degree program in English, 39,000 Chinese yuan per year. You also need to buy insurance, 800 Chinese yuan per year. On campus, we provide accommodation, 80 Chinese yuan per day. For single room, 
and 40 Chinese yuan per day for double rooms. There are a few financial aid options, scholarship options. The first one is Chinese government scholarship, the second one is tuition scholarship, and the last one is the research and teaching assistant scholarship. On top of the scholarship, we also have some award and honors. If you are doing very well in your class, you have the top grade award, Jiang Nan Xiang Award, graduate students, all round excellent award, etc. In our school, we also offer some financial aid, school level merit scholarship, the need based financial aid for outstanding full time international students. That's all I want to introduce today and hope to see you next year on campus. Welcome to our school.